Lots of people like to travel over summer vacation. We asked students and teachers at WB about their plans. Everyone has a favorite vacation trip or vacation spot. I mean, who doesn't? Most people prefer traveling in groups, however, not everyone does. Getting to your destination is a big part of traveling. Cars and planes are the most popular options. Probably pop, and I like to listen to Bruno Mars. Pop, and my favorite singer is Taylor Swift. It's pop, and uh, my favorite artist is probably Taylor Swift. It's pop, and my favorite artist is probably Ariana Grande. Whether it's two or 20 shows, teenagers make it a point to get out to concerts each summer. Three concerts, I think? Only, I've only been to one concert. Being so close to Boston, many different artists come through, and it seems like students take advantage of it. Probably the Pitbull concert, because it's just like such a good atmosphere with like everyone dancing around and partying. When me and my cousins were cheering when Taylor Swift came out. A concert is a great place to make new friends and new memories. Four seats at a Taylor Swift concert and she touched my hand. It was a Taylor Swift reputation tour back in 2018. There are so many different concert venues, but there is one that seems to be a fan favorite.
probably the Xfinity Center just because you can like go on the lawn and just hang out with your friends. Probably the Xfinity Center. There are many different concerts people are looking forward to this summer, but there is one that stands out. Probably the Pipple concert because it was so much fun and I just like can't wait to go back. I might go to a Harry Styles concert in Europe this year and it's really exciting. I uh, definitely feel of the beach. The pool. I prefer going to the beach. Pool, for sure. Uh, I think I prefer going to the pool. To follow up, they shared what contributed to their decision. Um, I like the overall atmosphere of the beach. Uh, sand can be a little annoying, but just having the whole the whole beach vibe is is nicer to me. Sand is stupid. There's too many people at the beach. There's occasionally live animals in my pool, but not very often. And again, I hate sand. Well, you know, at the beach, there's sharks, sand gets in your car, there's people there that you don't really know, you don't want to be around. But at the pool, you invite your friends, family, you know, it's a good time. I like not having sand in my car and in my shoes afterward. Then gave their opinions on which would be a better setting for groups of people. Um, I think the beach is usually nice because you can kind of find your own spot where you're not you know, too close to uh, other groups or other people. So I think there's more space to spread out on the beach. I never want to be in large groups of people. Neither. Honestly, beach, because like, you can bring like hundreds of people and just have a big congregation. Probably the beach because it's more space and the pool, if you have a, kind of a small pool, you can't have that many people over. One advantage of going to the beach is that it provides a wide variety of activities that you can do. Oh, I like to play a little volleyball, you know, spike ball, just pretty much anything, you know, anything beach related I'm down for. Some of my favorite beach activities are spike ball and surfing. Um, going in the ocean and tanning. Despite there's not as much to do at the pool, students still find plenty of ways to enjoy their time. Um, I like diving for things in the pool. I like throwing children into the pool and just, just being silly and jumping in. Definitely going to have to go basketball in the pool. In order to have a beach or a pool day, you need to have good weather such as... Seventy-five. Dessert is a popular thing in a cookout. Oh, without food at a cookout, it isn't a cookout. It is very important to have activities at cookouts.
Family is very important at, at cookouts. To just talk about who makes the food on the grill. 